from? My name is Wayne. I'm from the Bronx. From 151 in Morris. Oh, what's the difference between Bronx and Manhattan? <laughs> I don't know. The Bronx, I was born and raised there. It's no different. I like being around people, people over there, people over here. It's dangerous everywhere. You guys got drive-bys out there? Say again? You guys got, you guys got drive-bys out there? I don't know nothing. Yeah. No, um, all right, let's talk about dating advice here. Ah, uh, yeah, let's talk about dating. Now, let's say, like, I see a good-looking chick, like, right, right over there somewhere. Yeah. And she, as soon as she sees me, she looks away mad quick. What does that mean? Nothing. She's probably not interested, or you go approach her. Yeah. Look, the most a woman can say is just no. Yeah. You can't get hurt off a no. You gonna violate? Because there's a lot of guys that I interview who will say, if there's no icon, they don't even go over there. What's your, what do you now you about? never know. Shoot your shot. Yeah. If you can shoot, you shoot. Yeah. All right. Now, if you ask a woman out and she says no, you see her again two months later. You gonna try again? Nah. No. She said no. All right, now the way you dress, how important is it when it comes to dating women? I don't know. I got mad casual looks. You can look me up on Instagram. I dress casual, but it's just comfort. I'm in comfort all the time. If I'm not at school or going out, just like this. Now a lot of guys come to this park specifically to meet women. Some people say this is not the place to be doing something like that. Other people say this is. Where do you stand on that? I agree. It all depends on the type of person you are. I'm not I'm not going to be out here, yo, what's happening? I'm not going to really say much to them. I just be chilling. I'm out here to enjoy the music, really. Yeah. All right, now. Online dating, where do you stand on that? I don't do that. I like meeting girls in person so I can feel they vibe. Have you tried all I did? Nah. You never even tried it? Nah. I had a Tinder profile for like a week, but I was only attracting white joints, so I couldn't do it. No. A lot of women will say, I only meet men through people I know. Where do you stand on that? Nah, that's not true. It's not true, because you can walk anywhere and find your significant other. Online dating, you don't know them. You just date them. All right, now. What do you think about guys who set their standards too high? There's no such thing as standards too high is that you prefer what you want. Yeah. Like, say for an example. Like really good looking fit women? You feel me? It's up to you. If you down with working out and all that, you want somebody that you attract. Yeah. All right, now. What kind of signals should a guy be looking for before he approaches a woman? Smile, pretty teeth. Yeah. You gotta check to see if she got old man hands. That means she done a lot of stuff in her life. Now, bad boys. You think men, women like bad boys? It all depends what's the definition of bad. Men who treat someone poorly. Oh, that's terrible. I got eight sisters. Yeah. I'm the only boy. So they don't. You don't think they go for that? Nah, they punks. You hit a girl, you're a punk. Yeah. That's a fact. All right. Now, I, I asked a woman one time, "What do you like in a man?" She said, I'm a volleyball player, I like athletes. Do you think opposites can attract? Of course. Yeah? Of course. I try this guy's All right, now, compliments. A lot of people are saying that you shouldn't even compliment a woman in public. Why not? Some people say yes, some people say no. They say no because, like, they, women, they, they, hear, they hear it all day. They don't want to hear it anymore. Now, you never know because you don't know what somebody going through. So, uh, like, oh, hey, yo, like, you're beautiful. Could go a long way down, make a smile. You don't got to be with her. Yeah, you do an interview if you want to. Oh, oh, oh. How many more minutes you got? We're huh? at four minutes now. Four minutes? We're at four minutes. How many more minutes do you want to do? I got like two more. Two more? All right, now, we're done with the dating questions. Let's do some general questions. When do you believe the peak of human life is? It all depends what you've been through. It really all depends what you've been through. Because I've been through a lot of shit. And look, I'm about to graduate college. So. You feel me? It all depends what you've been through about maturity and like what time you want to have fun. Because people have fun in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. Yeah. There's no limit to having fun. Your peak could be forever. So you think you can still have fun in your 40s? Nah, I'm trying to settle down. I'm not the fun kind of guy. So when would the peak be? 30s? 20s? I don't know because I've been to the strip club at 18, 17. So yes. I say, <laughs> yo, whenever you want to have fun. Uh -huh. I say, I give, I give mid 20s. Mid 20s? Yeah. All right, now, so he's at the peak right now. Now, game changers, have you had anything happen to you in your life to make you want to change the way you live your life? Yeah, I had a son. Yeah. That changed you? How, yeah, how, how changed did your life change after you had, had your kid? 
And it changed a lot. You gain responsibilities and you want to be there for your kid. So for me as a man, I man up, I do what I got to do. You got any advice on how to raise a kid? There's really no advice. Go with the flow, but just make sure you listen. And watch what you do around your kids. So you become like a, a more like a... You, you're trying to become a role model right now. Yeah, because I had none, so... Now a lot of people say be a cycle. Your, a lot of people say be yourself. But what about if my personality is not very likable, it's not very socially acceptable, should so I still be myself? Yeah, those are not the people you want to attract. Attract people who always like you. Like your mind in the circle, Yeah. we we all alike. If you act fake with yourself, you're going to be fake your whole life. Because why are you trying to please other people? Right. Now you come to this park often? Nah, this is my second time here. No, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot of weirdos here. Yo! Ho. There's a lot of weirdos. Yo! <laughs> you, but you telling me they should be themselves too? I mean, Yo, because, bro, they, they because I, I've seen a lot of these guys talk. Yeah. And they talk, and within like two minutes, they scare people away. It's the drugs. Should they, should they still, I mean, because I, I believe in put, putting my best foot forward, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to save the weird stuff and the scary stuff for the second and third meeting. Nah, everybody, you know? but it's always multiple things to talk about. Like I gotta have a conversation with anybody because I got a, I got friends of different races. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I am as well. But I don't. I'm not a conspiracy guy, and I don't really talk conspiracy. But I've seen them talking, and I see how fast people get scared of that stuff. And even politics. If you start talking to politics to just anybody, a lot of people are gonna get scared away. Because a lot of people don't tune into that. Yeah. That's the thing, you know. That's why I call my channel Common Denominator because it, it's something that uh, everybody can more or less relate to. But anyway, uh, yeah, we are at almost eight minutes now. You want to shout out your social media? Follow me, Wayno Two Nine Five. Tune into this graduation. It's gonna be lit. Oh, you graduated from college this year? Yeah. Congratulations. How are you gonna celebrate? Thank you. Just regular. Go out to eat. Uh -huh. Congratulations. What, what you got lined up? I mean, Man, we got we got guaranteed jobs after I'm become a surgical technician. Yeah, you know, I'm being a hospital. Field. You recommend people go to college? Because a lot of people say it's a scam. It all depends. Yeah, what yeah. college is a scam, but it's but college is a scam until you want to accomplish your dream. You need a job to accomplish your dreams. You don't want to. How you gonna be broke and not accomplish nothing? Yeah. You go to school, you have bread, and then if you want to follow your dream, that comes later on down the line when you have money. I'm just saying. But it's all people who get lucky out here that just so happen to have money or they get into different things. But if you don't have an idea yet, go to college. I'm just saying. Okay. Now you want to give a shout out to anybody? Ah, shout out my son. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Oh, y'all, do I have a permission to put this on the internet? Yeah, you got my permission. Oh, thank you.